so in New Zealand we have Varroa and if you don't treat for Varroa your hive sadly will die. So you need to treat your hive in spring and in autumn with a miticide treatment which will kill the mites. Now uh, most people they just throw the miticide treatments in and hopefully that works, usually they do. Um, but if you would like to be a little more conscious of what your bees are doing in the varroa levels, you can monitor the varroa levels in your hive. So that's what I'd like to show you how to do today. So because the varroa live mainly under the brood cappings, the frame we're going to sample from is going to be one from the centre with lots of capped brood. So a lot of the bees here on this frame have probably got varroa on them, but you can't judge how much varroa in your hive just by looking. So we're going to actually shake these bees off the frame and monitor them for varroa. Now before we do that, make 100% sure that the queen is not on this frame. because You don't want to kill her. So we're going to shake these bees off the frame and then we're going to take a sample and put it into our monitoring jar. So this is literally just a half a cup from my kitchen cupboard. Half a cup of bees into our sampling container. I'm just going to put that there. All right, so our bees are in there. So this is just a store-bought varroa monitoring jar. So we've put our half a cup, which is about 300 bees, into here. And then we're going to pour the meths in. So sadly, these bees are going to die, but it will also kill the varroa. And then we can count them to know how much is in our hive. OK, I'm just going to pour the meths into the bees. So now that our bees and our varroa are dead, we need to shake them so that the varroa get dislodged and fall to the bottom where we can count them. So as you can see, we're going to count the varroa in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight, maybe nine. I'll have to double check that. Make sure you are looking at varroa and not just the bits of um, detritus that are at the bottom. So when we're monitoring for, for varroa, make sure that you know what the varroa looks like so you know what you can count in there. And make sure you're wearing your glasses if you need to wear glasses because you really need to be able to see the varroa to count them properly. So in this jar, I've actually counted 10 varroa. So that's 10 varroa per 300 bees. So that's a little bit too high. So I know from this monitoring that I now need to treat my hive with the miticide to knock the mites down. So in summary, this is a really good way to test how many varroa are in your hive. It is said that the bees die, but you have to understand that if we didn't monitor and if we didn't treat, the whole hive would die. So you have to sort of weigh out the pros and cons of your, of your hive. But this is an excellent way to count the varroa to know when you need to treat.